European River Cruises, Part 5b. Alpine and Apparian, Basel to Mainz. Table of Contents, Part 5b. Alpine and Apparian, Basel to Mainz. All about the Upper Rhine from Basel to Mainz. With visiting and touring information. Geography. History. Attractions and other points of interest. Dr. Sidney Socloff. Dr. Sidney22 at gmail.com. 2022. Narration by Dr. Sidney Socloff. Zoe Phonemes. And Nathan Cole Tove. For a more complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to this video using the link here. Alsace. Alsace, in Alsatian and German, Alsace, is a cultural and historical region in France. It is on the eastern border of France, on the west bank of the Upper Rhine, adjacent to Germany and Switzerland. Strasbourg is the economic and cultural capital, as well as largest city of Alsace. The total population of the Alsace region is 1.8 million. Alsace is bordered on the east by the Rhine River, which also forms the border between France and Germany, and on the west by the Vosges mountain range. Strasbourg is by far the largest city as well as the capital of the Alsace region with a population of almost 300,000. Other major cities are Malus at 112,000 and Colmar at 70,000. Alsace has, throughout its history, changed hands between Germany and France on several occasions. The local culture is distinct and the region offers historic cities and castles and interesting countryside. Alsace also has some of the most beautiful cathedrals and churches in Western Europe. The magnificent Strasbourg Cathedral is a unique example of a mix of Roman and Gothic architecture and has the peculiarity of having only one tower. The predominant historical language of Alsace is Alsatian. A Germanic dialect also spoken across the Rhine and Germany. But today most Alsatians primarily speak French, the official language of France. The political status of Alsace has been heavily influenced by historical decisions, wars, and strategic politics. The Franco-Prussian War started in July 1870. France was defeated by May 1871 by the Kingdom of Prussia and other German states. The end of the war led to the unification of Germany. The Prussian Chancellor, Otto von Bismarck, annexed Alsace and Northern Lorraine to the new German Empire in 1871. France ceded more than 90% of Alsace and one-fourth of Lorraine as stipulated in the Treaty of Frankfurt of May 1871. The treaty gave residents of the Alsace-Lorraine region until the following October, 1872, to decide between keeping their French nationality and emigrating, or remaining in the region and becoming German citizens. Alsace was part of the Holy Roman Empire from 962 to 1618. Louis XIII annexed portions of Alsace during the Thirty Years' War, 1618-1674 in the period, 1674-1871. Louis XIV annexed the rest of Alsace during the Franco-Dutch War, establishing full French sovereignty over the region. The Franco-Prussian War of 1871 resulted in the French cession of Alsace to the German Empire. From 1919 to 1940, after World War I ended in 1918, the Treaty of Versailles caused the German cession of Alsace to France. During World War II, from 1940 to 1944, Nazi Germany reconquered Alsace, establishing the Gobat and Alsace. After World War II ended in 1945, France regained possession of Alsace. Louis XIII annexed portions of Alsace during the Thirty Years' War, 1618 to 1674. 
This is a painting of Louis XIV receiving the keys of Strasbourg in 1681. After the Franco-Prussian War in 1871, the French ceded an Alsace to the German Empire. After World War I ended in 1918, the Treaty of Versailles of 1919 resulted in Germany ceding Alsace to France. During World War II, from 1940 to 1944, Nazi Germany reconquered Alsace, establishing the Gobot in Alsace. After World War II ended in 1945, France regained possession of Alsace. A popular itinerary is the Alsatian Vineyard Route, fabulous for going from town to town and tasting the local wines. Alsace wine or Alsatian wine, in French, Vin d'Alsace, is produced in the Alsace region in France and is primarily white. Because of its Germanic influence, it is the only Appalachian d'Origine Contrôle region in France to produce mostly varietal wines, typically from similar grape varieties to those used in German wine. Along with Austria and Germany, Alsace produces some of the most noted dry Rieslings in the world as well as highly aromatic Jewers Trimmer wines. Chapter 16 Strasbourg Strasbourg, German Strasbourg, Alsatian, Strasbury, is the capital and largest city of the Alsace region of France. Strasbourg is the ninth largest city of France, with nearly half a million inhabitants in a metropolitan area spanning across the river into the German city of Kale, on the eastern bank of the Rhine. Strasbourg is famous for its beautiful historical center, the Grand Isle, the large island. In 1988 this was the first city center to be classified entirely as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. It was cited as an old quarter that exemplifies medieval cities. Place Clay Bear is the central square of Strasbourg on the Grand Isle. To the south is the Strasbourg Cathedral, the world's fourth tallest church. At the western end of the Grand Isle is the quarter of Petite France. This is one of Strasbourg's main tourist attractions, and the former home of the city's tanners, millers and fishermen. Strasbourg is also home to several important European institutions including the Council of Europe, the European Court of Human Rights, the European Ombudsman, the Eurocorps, the European Audiovisual Observatory and, most famously, the European Parliament, which also holds sessions in Brussels. This is a view of the Strasbourg Kell area. The town of Kell is on the German side of the Rhine where the cruise ships dock. This is a tourist map of Strasbourg. And this is a more detailed view of the central area of the city showing principal points of interest. Ploss Clay Bear is at the center of the city of Strasbourg in the heart of the city's commercial area. Ploss Clay Bear was named after General John Baptist Clay Bear, who was born in Strasbourg in 1753 and was a general during the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. In the square is a statue of Clay Bear, under which is a vault containing his remains. Chapter 17 the Petit France Quartier. The city center of Strasbourg, along with the Petite France Quarter, is on the UNESCO World Heritage List and is one of the highlights of a visit to Strasbourg. The city center has a medieval cityscape of Rhineland black and white timber framed buildings, particularly in the Petite France district alongside the River Ill and in the streets and squares surrounding the cathedral. This is a more detailed view area around the Petite France Quarter and Bloss Clay Bear. At Petit France, the river Ill splits up into several channels that cascade through an area that was, in the Middle Ages, home to the city's tanners, millers, and fishermen, and is now one of Strasbourg's main tourist attractions. This is another map showing the streaks around the Petite France Quarter. Petite France forms part of the UNESCO World Heritage side of the Grand Isle, designated in 1988. The Imperial District of Neustadt, 
or New City, was built during the annexation of Alsace and Lorraine by Germany between 1871 and 1918. It tripled the area of Strasbourg and gave the city all the attributes of a capital in the German Empire. The Neustadt district was to serve as a new city center, as opposed to the old town on the Grand Isle, which in 1871 had more narrow and crooked streets. The new town was to have monumental boulevards and broad, rectilinear modern streets. The Neustadt comprises a number of public buildings and monuments that are today classified as monuments historiques, such as Palais de Rhine, the former palace of the German emperors, University Palace, also the observatory, the zoological museum, the botanical garden, etc., and the National and University Library. Many architectural styles were used in Neustadt mostly on a grand scale, Baroque Revival, Renaissance Revival, Gothic Revival, Romanesque Revival, often as a mixture of these styles. At the end of the 19th century, with the introduction of reinforced concrete as a new building material, the style of Art Nouveau appeared. The Strasbourg Cathedral or Cathedral Notre Dame Day, Strasbourg is one of the finest examples of high or late Gothic architecture. Construction started in 1015 and was only completed more than 400 years later in 1439. The tower has a height of 142 meters, 466 feet, and it was the world's tallest building for 227 years from 1647 to 1874. Today it is the sixth tallest church in the world and the highest surviving structure built entirely in the Middle Ages. The cathedral's south transept houses an 18-meter astronomical clock, one of the largest in the world. Strasbourg was chosen in 1949 after the Second World War to serve as the headquarters of the Council of Europe, later to become the European Union. The buildings of the European Quarter include the European Parliament, the European Court of Human Rights or the Council of Europe, and the French-German television channel Arte. This is the European Parliament during a plenary session in Strasbourg. A good and relaxing way to see some of the major sites of Strasbourg is by a boat tour. Badorama offers 70-minute city tours all year round. The Battle-Rama boats pass by the must-see attractions, including the Petit Fronds and Tanner's Quarter, the Covered Bridges and the Vauban Dam, the Neustadt Imperial Quarter and the European Institutions. Commentary is provided in 12 languages. The Battle-Rama boats leave from Palais Rohan. The Battle-Rama River boat offers two tour loops. One is the Strasbourg Grand Isle Tour with a duration of 45 minutes. This tour goes around the downtown or central area of Strasbourg that is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The other Bato-Rama tour is Strasbourg. 20 centuries of history with a duration of 70 minutes. This tour goes around the central part of Strasbourg. And then goes to the Neustadt or Imperial District and then the European Quarter. For the first time visitor. Another good way to see Strasbourg is by way of Le Petit Train de Strasbourg, or the Little Train of Strasbourg. This is a 40-minute guided trip through the heart of Strasbourg. The Little Train of Strasbourg runs from mid-March to mid-November, and departs every 30 minutes. Commentary on Le Petit Train de Strasbourg is available in 16 languages. Lee Petit Train is also available in these other cities in Alsace, Colmar, Aberne, Riboville, and Riquier. Lee Petit Train de Strasbourg departs from the Cathedral Notre Dame. Another way to discover the remarkable sights of Strasbourg is by its extensive network of buses and trams. This is a map of the bus and tram network of Strasbourg and the surrounding area. This is another map of the bus and tram network of Strasbourg. These are the various tram and bus lines. 
This is the first part of a list of points of interest on the tram and bus lines of Strasbourg. This is the second part of the list of points of interest on the tram and bus lines of Strasbourg. This is a list of 10 museums that are on the tram and bus lines of Strasbourg. This is a look at the tram and bus lines in the central part of Strasbourg. This is a more detailed look at the tram and bus lines in the center of Strasbourg around Blas Kleber. This is a detailed look at the tram and bus lines in the vicinity of the Petite France Quarter. This is a detailed look at the tram and bus lines in the vicinity of the European Quarter. Colm R. Colmar is located just 16 kilometers, 10 miles, west of the Rhine River, bordering the German frontier and a few miles east of the foothills of the Vosges Mountains. The driving distance from Braissac to Colmar is 25 kilometers, or a time of 25 minutes. The population of Colmar is 70,000 with 120, 0, 0 in the urban area. Although Colmar was French for most of its modern history, as was all of Alsace and Lorraine, its population used to be predominantly German. Alsace changed nationalities many times in the course of history between France and Germany. Colmar as part of Alsace was twice annexed by Germany, from 1871 to 1919 and again during World War II. This is a map of principal tourist attractions in Colmar. This is another map of principal tourist attractions in Colmar. This is Place de la Cathedrale in Colmar. This shows traditional architecture in Colmar. Colmar's many fountains, ancient churches, and Alsatian Renaissance houses have made it a center of tourism. This is a canal along a street in Colmar. The Musée d'Unterlinden, formerly a convent, houses the 16th century Eisenheim altarpiece. The Eisenheim altarpiece is the masterwork of the German painter of religious subjects, Matthias Grunewald. The home of the sculptor of New York City Statue of Liberty, Frederick Augusta Bartholdi who was born in Colmar in 1834, is a museum. A good way for the first-time visitor to see Colmar is by way of the Petit Train Touristique de Colmar. On the Petit Train Touristique de Colmar commentary is available in 16 languages. The 7 kilometers loop of the tourist train has a duration of 35 minutes, with departures approximately every 30 minutes. This is a map of the route of the tourist train. This is a more detailed view showing the boarding area of the petty train to Rustic de Colmar. Heidelberg Two of the major tributaries of the Rhine are the Main and the Neckar rivers. The city of Heidelberg is on the Neckar River, just a short distance from the Rhine. This shows the principal tributaries of the Rhine. The Mosel, or in French, Moselle, flows from France northeast to the Rhine at Koblenz. The Neckar travels north by Heidelberg to the Rhine at Mannheim, and the Main flows west by Frankfurt to its confluence with the Rhine near Mainz. Since Heidelberg is on the Neckar, and not on the Rhine, the main port of call for visiting Heidelberg is the port of Mannheim on the Rhine. Mannheim is only 21 kilometers, or 13 miles from Heidelberg. Heidelberg is also 78 kilometers, 48 mi, south of Frankfurt on the Main River. Heidelberg is in the northwest corner of Baden-Württemberg. The population is 160,000. It is preeminently a college town, with a quarter of the population being students. Heidelberg University was founded in 1386 on the instruction of Pope Urban VI. It is Germany's oldest university and one of the world's oldest surviving universities. This is a map showing principal points of interest in Heidelberg. This is another map showing principal points of interest in the Altstadt or Old City of Heidelberg.
This shows in more detail the old bridge, university, and castle Schloss in Heidelberg. Heidelberg University consists of 12 faculties and offers degree programs at undergraduate, graduate and postdoctoral levels in 100 disciplines. It has three major campuses, with the humanities predominantly located in Old Town. Heidelberg University has 31,000 students, of which almost half, 12,000, are postgraduate. There are 3,000 doctoral students, of which one-third come from outside Germany. The university has had 41 Nobel Prize winners, placing it 13th in the world. This is the old University Hall of Heidelberg University. Heidelberg's old city center is viewed from the castle. This is a view of the Altstadt or old city from the castle. This is the marketplace, with the Rathaus, or town hall on the right. This shows the location of the Marktplatz, or marketplace, and the Rathaus, or town hall. This is the Hochstrasse, or main street of Heidelberg. It is a mile-long pedestrian street, running the length of the old town. This shows the location of the Hauptstrasse in the Marktplatz. Heidelberg Castle, Heidelberger Schloss, is an important landmark of Heidelberg. And the ruins are among the most important Renaissance structures north of the Alps. The castle is located 80 meters, 260 feet, above Heidelberg. It can be reached by the Heidelberger Bergbahn Funicular Railway that runs from the Kornmarkt in the Altstadt. The Heidelberg Castle, located on the northern slope of Konigstall Mountain, was originally built during the 13th century and was the residence of the Palatinate monarchy from the 13th through 18th centuries. The Heidelberger Bergbahn Funicular Railway is one of Germany's most modern funicular railways. The Bergbund Funicular Railway starts at Kornmarkt in the Old Town. From the Kornmarkt the railway has a stop at the castle, Schloss, station, and then goes as far as Mokanker. From there you can continue with one of the oldest electric funicular railways up to the Königstuhl, the town's highest point at more than 550 meters. The Heidelberg Funicular Railways rank amongst the most popular tourist attractions in the town. Every year more than one million passengers use the traditional funicular railways, enjoying the spectacular views of Heidelberg and the Necker Valley as they travel, and from each of the stations. From the vantage point of the Königstuhl, there is a view extending far across the Rhine lowlands as far as the Palatinate line route. This is the old bridge as seen from the castle. The old stone bridge was erected in the years 1786 to 1788. A medieval bridge gate is on the side of the old town, and was originally part of the town wall. Baroque tower helmets were added as part of the erection of the stone bridge in 1788. The Church of the Holy Spirit, or Heiliggeist Kirche, is a late Gothic church in the marketplace of the Altstadt of Heidelberg. This is an interior view of the Church of the Holy Spirit, or Heiliggeist Kirche. Chapter 31 For the first time visitor, a good way to discover Heidelberg is a hop on hop off bus tour, such as offered by the Heidelberg City Tour Hop on Hop Off Bus. This is the route of the Heidelberg City Tour Hop on Hop Off Bus. These are the main stops of the Heidelberg City Tour Hop on Hop Off Bus. With the Hop on Hop Off Bus one stay at a stop at a location and browse around. And then hop back onto the next bus. Shire Shire is a city of 50,000 population along the Rhine and the Rhineland Palatinate region of Germany. It was founded by the Romans and is one of Germany's oldest cities. Shire is dominated by the Shire Cathedral, the Memorial Church, and the Altputtel, or Old Gate.
The main port of call for visiting Speyer is the port of Mannheim. Speyer is a drive of only 26 kilometers or 16 miles, or a time of 30 minutes from Mannheim. The main sites of Speyer include the cathedral, Altpertl, Old Town Gate, Gedoknisch Kirche, Memorial Church, the remnants of the medieval synagogue and ritual bath, or McVeh, the Technik Museum Speyer, Transportation Museum, and the Historical Museum of the Palatinate. The Speyer Cathedral, or Imperial Cathedral, is the largest Romanesque building in Germany. Construction began in 1030 AD and it was consecrated in 1061. In 1981, the cathedral was added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. The tombs of eight Holy Roman Emperors, and German kings, are beneath the high altar in the cathedral. The Altpertl, or Old Gate, is the medieval West City Gate of Speyer, and is one of the original 68 towers in the old walls and gates. The Altpertl is one of the largest of the remaining city gates in Germany. At 55 meters, or 180 feet high. It is also one of the most architecturally significant. The history of the Jews in Speyer reaches back over 1,000 years in the Middle Ages. The city of Speyer, formerly Spira, was home to one of the most significant Jewish communities in the Holy Roman Empire. Speyer was once an important center of Jewish culture. Some ruins of the 11th century synagogue still remain. The synagogue, which was dedicated in 1104, was constructed as a Romanesque hall about 34 feet wide and about 57 feet long. Only the east wall of the building remains. These are ruins of the 11th century medieval synagogue and an intact mikveh, or ritual bath. The synagogue was destroyed by the Nazis during Kristallnacht on the 9th of November, 1938. The Technik Museum Speyer is a transportation museum that opened in 1991. The Technik Museum Speyer has more than 2,000 exhibits and attracts half a million visitors per year. The Historical Museum of the Palatinate, German, Historisches Museum der Fels, is across the square from the Speyer Cathedral. The museum's focus is on the history of the Palatinate. The Historical Museum of the Palatinate has a collection of one million artifacts, the oldest being a 190,000-year-old hand axe. The museum is among the most important in Germany with over 200,000 visitors per year. This shows the location of the cathedral, synagogue, and the Historical Museum of the Palatinate. This is a tourist map of Speyer. This is the historical center of Speyer. This is a more detailed view of the historical center of Speyer. Mainz Mainz is across the Rhine from the confluence of the Rhine and Main rivers. It essentially marks the northern or downstream end of the Upper Rhine and the start of the Middle Rhine. Cruises from Amsterdam to Budapest leave the Rhine here to travel eastward on the Main River. Cruises from Amsterdam to Basel continue from here southward to Basel. Map of Main River Valley, or Maintel from Mainz to Bamberg. And this is a more detailed view of the area around Mainz and the confluence of the Rhine and Main Rivers. Mainz is located on the River Rhine at its confluence with the Main opposite Wiesbaden in the western part of the Frankfurt Rhine Main region. In the modern age, Frankfurt shares much of its regional importance. In this satellite view we see Mainz, Wiesbaden, and Frankfurt am Main, and the major Frankfurt International Airport, FRA. Mainz is the capital and largest city of the state of Rhineland-Palatinate in Germany, with a population of 210,000. Until the 20th century, Mainz was usually referred to in English by its French name of Mayence. In antiquity Mainz was founded in 13 BC as a Roman fort of Magenschiacum, which commanded the west bank of the Rhine. 
and formed part of the northernmost frontier of the Roman Empire and became the provincial capital of Germania Superior. Mainz was an important city and the capital of the electorate of Mainz at the time of the Holy Roman Empire. During World War II, more than 30 air raids destroyed about 80% of the city's center, including most of the historic buildings. Mainz is famous as the home of the invention of the movable type printing press. As the first books printed using movable type were manufactured in Mainz by Gutenberg in the early 1450s. The Gutenberg Museum is one of the oldest museums of printing in the world. Located opposite the cathedral in the old part of Mainz, the collections of the Gutenberg Museum include printing equipment and examples of printed materials from many cultures. This is the 11th century Romanesque cathedral in Mainz. This shows the location of the Gutenberg Museum and the cathedral in the center of Mainz. This is a map of the central part of Mainz. A good way for the first-time visitor to see Mainz is by way of a city to see sightseeing bus. This map shows the stops on the city to see Mainz city tour. This is the University Botanical Garden stop on the city to see Mainz city tour. This is a Mainz city to see sightseeing bus. Climate The climate of Basel Will it be hot? Or will it be cold in Basel? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in Basel. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in Basel. Rainfall in Basel in Switzerland. Here is the average rainfall in inches throughout the year in Basel. The total yearly rainfall is 31 inches, or 778 millimeters. Here is the average rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in Basel. Here is the average number of days per month, with precipitation, throughout the year in Basel. We see that it rains about 9 days every month, throughout the year. The climate of Heidelberg. Will it be hot? Or will it be cold in Heidelberg? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in Heidelberg. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in Heidelberg. Rainfall in Heidelberg in Switzerland. Here is the average rainfall in inches throughout the year in Heidelberg. The total yearly rainfall is 26 inches, or 676 millimeters. Here is the average rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in Heidelberg. Recommended videos, part 5. Basel to Mainz. Recommended video, top 10 things to do in Basel, Switzerland. Recommended video. Colmar, France, Alsace's most enchanting city. Recommended video, 36 hours in Strasbourg, France, The New York Times. Recommended video, Strasbourg in France tourism. Recommended video, Germany's Black Forest in Cologne, Rick Steves. Recommended video, Heidelberg Top 10 Things to Do. Recommended video, Spire, Spires, City Guide, Germany Travel Guide, Travel and Discover, 13 Minutes. Recommended video, Jewish Courtyard and Museum in Spire. Table of Contents, Part 5b. Alpine in the Parian, Basel to Mainz. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.